three mechanics. Well, as you know, most cars today come out with fuel injection, but if you've got an earlier version, like a 60s or a 70s version, it's got a carburetor. And trying to find one could be kind of a problem. That's why you have to get a smart shopper. That's what today's show is all about. We're going to show you how to accurately diagnose and replace this worn-out old carburetor with a new emission-legal performance carburetor. We're going to show you shade trees, how to go right by application, get the right carburetor, and install it properly to do the job right. Yeah, and I've got some brand new Holly carburetors over here on the bench I'd like to show you. You know, one of the most useful gauges or the most important gauges you can have is an engine manifold vacuum gauge. Hook it right up to a direct vacuum source because the most important information is going to be your manifold vacuum. Okay, folks, this is what I wanted to show you. This is Holly's Street Legal Emission Performance Carburetor. Now, this is a direct replacement for your stock carburetor. It is in performance oriented, but unlike a high performance carburetor, this has the emission ports to it. So when you bolt it on, you can hook your emission system up to it. Now it's also what we call a spread bore carburetor. Now this is a direct replacement for the Quadrajet. You know, by having that uh, spread bore, Dave, you know, that uh, means you don't have to put on an adapter, you don't have to change the manifold, any of those things to make that thing fit right on. Now this thing here has the uh, square type manifold, which a uh, uh, flange plate which bolts to the manifold like on your Ford cars. Uh, fits some of the crisis, and this will go on like a, a high-performance aftermarket manifold you get in your Cobra. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier, too. And, of course, by getting a new carburetor, you get a nice new choke, you get all the parts are new, and, of course, you get the durability and the reliability of the Holley carburetor. Now, when you go to the parts store to get your carburetor, it'll come in a box like this. It's ready to bolt on. It also comes with a hardware kit, just like this. Now, many of these carburetors are set up for a variety of applications, so they give you enough hardware so you can adapt that, your carburetor to your specific application. It makes it a lot easier that way. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you start working on one of these is check the manifold vacuum. And I can see this has got low vacuum, so I want to check my base timing. Also, you want to go ahead and block any vacuum lines. Like this one went to the uh, Thermax system going to the air cleaner. What I used to block it was a golf tee. I need to pull off my vacuum advance line for my distributor vacuum, and I'm going to go ahead and plug that. Now, these things are cheap. You can get them in any store. And they won't short circuit anything because they're water plastic and they're bright colored, so you won't forget them. Now I get my timing light, and we've got our about 500 RPM idle. What do you got? Can you see it? Yeah, I see it. Uh, we're about four degrees. Okay. We're right on there, so that's what it called. But let's go ahead and All right, let, take me, some let me go ahead and put this up here. Oh, you're on you need a high scale. On high, yeah. Okay, yeah. there we go. All right, give me about 2,000 RPM. All right, you ready? Yep. Still got a miss. <laughs> We've got about 21, 22 degrees there. The centrifugal is working. Let's check the vacuum chamber. Okay. Let's see what our total timing is. We're just revving it up. You can hear it change. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, here we go. Okay. We've got about 36 degrees total timing. That's pretty good. This thing's tremoring. The vacuum's a little low, too, but it's got a miss. Boy, you can really hear it. Well, I can hear a vacuum leaking. You know, I see some have been chasing that mist. They got, uh, they've already replaced the plug wires. I'll bet you we'll find a plug that's fouled or something no, like that. I'll bet you they didn't replace the spark plugs. It was not easy to get to them. They may not have, yeah. Well, folks, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll show you a lot more about carburetors, so stay with us. I see a lot of, a lot of looking vacuum lines. We need more than 3 million new or remanufactured carburetors are installed every year in the U.S. Brought to you by Castrol GTX, engineered for greater protection against breakdown. By Formula 2001 Super Protectant, provides advanced protection against UV rays. It's a technological breakthrough. By CD2, real medicine for your car or truck, guaranteed. And by Ace Hardware. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware folks. It's a major breakthrough in auto protectant technology. Formula 2001 Super Protectant. It provides a more brilliant, longer-lasting shine than Armorall on vinyl and leather. And look, in the Arizona desert, Formula 2001 brought back the shine to UV-faded vinyl. Rubber. Even leather. Get the new standard in automotive protectant technology. Formula 2001, with 50% more active shining ingredients than Armorall. Get Formula 2001 products today. Miles on your car or truck can be a drag. You're losing oil, struggling for power. You need real medicine. New CD2 Powerback. Better than Restore, Powerback does more than just increase horsepower and reduce oil consumption. Powerback improves your oil, prevents oil breakdown due to high temperatures and shearing, and it's 100% lead-free. Get Powerback.
power back and feel like a kid again. Guaranteed. CD2 power back. CD2. Available at these and other automotive retail outlets. Today's cars and trucks are more advanced than ever, but there is a price. Their harder working engines can wreak havoc on the motor oil, breaking it down almost immediately. That's why Castrol GTX provides maximum protection against viscosity and thermal breakdown. So use Castrol, or your harder working engine could make things hard on you. Castrol GTX, engineered for greater protection against breakdown. Try Super Clean, the tough task cleaner degreaser from Castrol. Hey, if you travel the country like I do, you'd see why Ace is the place. It's people like Melody Passmore in Bullhead City, Arizona. There's no hardware problem she can't answer or handle. Ace is America's place with the helpful hardware folks. If you're looking for a reliable place to service your car or truck, I've got great news for you. Now at Pep Boys, air conditioning system check for only $19.99. Come to Pep Boys and drive away happy. Easy side, I'll take the hard one. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Shade Tree Mechanic. Well, we think we've pretty well isolated our miss to a possible spark, prog, a spark plug problem, and we'll find out as soon as Sam gets this out. What do you, what do you got there? Well, look at that. This thing here definitely is falling. Look at that center well, electrode. Been fired for a long time. Yeah, that, that's definitely missing. Well, I suspect there's a few more just like that, so let's get them out. I found some new spark plugs over for you, Sam. I was in the store the other day, and I run across these brand new plugs from Champion, right. and these are called the truck plugs. Here you go. Thanks. These are called the truck plugs. These are specially made by Champion, brand new on the market, and they're designed for the light truck sport utility market. Now, these have a three-year unlimited mileage guarantee. So we're going to give them a real workout. Well, they got a beefy center electrode. Yeah, let me have that. And I'll go ahead and I'll gap the rest of these for you. I'll get the rest of these out. All right, now, this is a 350 Chevrolet engine. The plug gap on this is right around 45 thousandths. And that checks out just right on the money. Here you go, Sam. Hey, there you go, buddy. Look at number three. Oh, now you get an idea of what we're talking about. You can see how foul this plug is. Sam, what do you think's causing this? Well, I think on this old carburetor, the float's getting heavy, and uh, when you shut it down, it's dumping fuel. Okay, bud, they're all in and tight. Okay, now you got that spark plug wire over there on? I'm doing it. <laughs> well, well, before you start to take off your carburetor, the next thing you want to do is take off the vacuum lines. Now, just don't go start yanking them off. You can check over here. There's a schematic a lot of times that will help you uh, get them back in the right spot. But what Sam and I like to do is take some uh, masking tape, and we pull off a, a line. We like to wrap it around there. Got okay, you got something there? Yeah, but I'll mark that okay, PCV I'll mark line. this right here, like this PCV line. This line here. We'll so put right. that on there, and we'll mark that number one. That way we know where it goes. It's just a good time to change any of the rotted vacuum lines. If this one that just broke in my hand, this is the time to do it. Put all fresh vacuum lines on. You won't have any problems when you put the new carburetor in. Now, this one was loose. We'll put this one on here. Mark that number two. This just makes it a lot easier so you can hook your lines up properly when you put your new carburetor on. Let me put a tape on that one before you... Okay, this goes over the thermal time valve. All right, let me put that on here. We'll make that number three. Okay. All right, got that one. Okay, now we're removing the linkage and the return springs. These little clips, you just lift a little tab and slide them. They come right off. Don't lose them. Get your return springs off. And, of course, you kick down linkage. Then we'll remove the fuel line. All right, here in the back of the carburetor, we're going to remove the vacuum boost line. Okay, up here in the front, we've got the electrical fast idle kick-up solenoid. We need to disconnect that. All right, now, Sam and I have spent a lot of time... There, we got it off. Spent a lot of time removing all these vacuum lines. We even marked the ports right here on the carburetor so we can hook the lines up properly when we put on our new carburetor. Now, folks, this is where most of you are going to run into problems if you don't take the time to do this. But this way, it makes things a lot easier for you. That's right. You know, I've had people come into my shop, and they have uh, put vacuum lines on in the places where they've just guessed, and the car won't run at all. Hey, Sam, you got everything done over there? Yeah. That's I it. think we got it all done. I think we're ready to pull off the carburetor. Here's a speed handle, bud. All right. Let me go back here. Has that got a half inch on it? Yeah. It does. All right. There you go. Okay. There we go. 
Okay, now you can see down here in the base of this intake manifold, this is the secondaries, you see how big they are. But you can see all the carbon built up, there's just chunks in there, and the same goes for the primary. And uh, it's good to get that cleaned out of there, use some uh, top oil or something, because that can cause a hesitation. All right, now, once you get your old carburetor out, go to the store, pick up your new carburetor. Now, one of the things that you want to make sure that you do is you get a box that hasn't been opened, because if it has been opened, chances are somebody's been in there messing around, so get one that's sealed. Once you get it home, open it up, clutch your pack, and get your carburetor out, and set it right next to your old one. Let me give you some room here. And get your instruction sheet. And take a few minutes and sit down and read it. Get familiar with your brand new carburetor. Now you can see that the new Holley looks a little bit different than this old Quadra Jet. What do you think of this, Sam? Isn't that a neat looking carburetor? Well, I'll tell you what, <clears throat> this, this is a nice carburetor. And one of the things that's neat about it is we're gonna upgrade the choke. Yeah, that's that right here. Got a nice electric choke on this one. We had a climatic choke on the uh, El Camino. This will be a quicker working and better working choke. Right. Because one of the added bonuses of this carburetor is that it accepts the original equipment air cleaner, which is real important. It sure is. It saves you from buying an aftermarket air cleaner. And there's a way to improve the drivability and low-end torque with this carburetor, and that is right there in the secondaries. Right in here. they got smaller inventories that increases the velocity of the air, gives you better low-end torque, better manifold uh, velocity. Certainly a lot better throttle response. Now, once you get your carburetor out, match it up. Now, as I said, read your instructions, because what you may find sometimes is the old carburetor right here. This is the throttle stop solenoid. A lot of times, this thing may bolt right to your new carburetor. Sometimes it won't. If it doesn't, then Holly includes a bracket here in their hardware kit that will adapt to it. And you may even have to, here it is, you may even have to get a new solenoid like this. So they have everything there. Okay, now I'm scraping down the intake manifold. See what I've done here? I've packed this with rags real good. So when I'm all done scraping, of course, I won't knock anything down in the meantime that'll go into the engine. Then I can take some compressed air, blow it all off, and then I can pull the rags out. Now, we have the EGR system here, which empties down into the floor of the intake manifold, and that's where all the carbon came from. So now I've got some good intake cleaner, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray all that carbon down, let it soak. When we run the engine, the carbon will come out of it. Got that about ready to go there, partner? I'm getting close, I'm getting close. <laughs> well, as you can see, we got just a little bit more to do before we mount our new carburetor. First, we're gonna take a short break. When we come back, we'll try to get this thing on, so stay with us. Not really too bad. Help? No, it's not too bad. 9,000 gallons of air is channeled through an engine for every one gallon of gasoline. 5G's hurts. When the car fires up, it's power. It's talking to me. All I hear is music. When you hit the throttle, it pulls your head back and it wants to rip it off. It's you, the competition, and everything has to be just right. Pure oil now! Man, from that time on, all you can think about is winning. Pure oil leader. Man, that's a ride. Legends live. A pure leader. Now at Pip Boys, get any four of our 35,000-mile all-season steel-belted tires at an incredible low $99.96. That's right, any size, any set of four, just $99.96 at Pip Boys now. 49 cents. Not a lot to pay for quality. Now at Pep Boys, Champion Spark Plugs just 49 cents after mail-in rebate. That's right, Champion Plugs just 49 cents at Pep Boys now. When it comes to lawn and garden products, we're making a name for ourselves. Because we guarantee they're built tough from the ground up. That's Ace. The name to know for lawn and garden. The Krylon Touch means making the old look new. The Krylon Touch and the boring becomes beautiful. Show your true colors. Don't just paint. Give it the Krylon Touch. Only with Krylon. If you have a passion for your lawn, you need the new Toro Super Recycler Mower. You need its patented cutting system that gives you a cleaner looking lawn, even in thick, tall grass. And unlike ordinary mowers, it cuts clippings so fine it won't leave ugly clumps. Learn more about the Super Recycler Mower. Call now for your free video. 1-800-341-8070. Learn more about the best mower warranty around. If anything goes wrong for five years, Toro will fix it free. And Toro guarantees that it will start on the first or second pull. Call now for your free video that explains the best mower warranty available. 1-800-341-8070. Your free video will also show you all of the exclusive features of the Super Recycler Mower that can help you create that perfect lawn. 
Call for your free video that explains the Super Recycler's patented cutting system, the five-year warranty, and its exclusive features. 1-800-341-8070. Toro, when you want it done right. Well, Dave, let's get this carburetor on. Hey, I'm ready. Hey, welcome back to Shade Tree Mechanic. Okay, now that I've scraped off the intake manifold, don't forget what I told you. If you've got a lot of carbon in here, down on the floor of the manifold, it comes all the way through here, that needs to be cleaned out. If it's real heavy, take the manifold off and have it batted out. Uh, uh, some shops have professional uh, guns where they use a crushed walnut shell, like a sandblast operation. They can blow all that carbon out, it goes down inside the engine, burns off, doesn't hurt a thing. Okay, let's, let's match up these vacuum ports, Sam. Okay, the so, big one on the bottom, PCV system. All right, got it right here. Okay, next thing we need one for the vacuum choke pull-off. Got that right here, and this uh, is it. Already plumbed. This we're not going to use. This was for the climatic choke hot air pickup. Okay, now, folks, this is something that's a little bit different on this one. We're using electric choke, and it doesn't require that. But it does have a fresh air vent right here. Now, this is threaded. It looks like you might want to put a cap on it. Leave it alone. Don't put a cap on it, because that lets fresh air flow into the choke, so it cools it. That's great. Okay, what else On the we back. Got? Okay, got the uh, large port for the uh, power booster line. Got it right here. Okay, now we need one other port. This is a manifold vacuum off the carburetor all right. to run the Thermac and the air cleaner. That should go right here then. There you go. That's okay, great. Okay, so we're all set. All, all right. right, looks like the next step is to put studs in our manifold. Now, the old carburetor used bolts. This one will require studs. Okay, once our studs are in, go ahead and remove the rag from the intake manifold, and we'll install our gaskets and uh, insulator plate. Okay, here you go. Thanks. All right, now once you get mount the carburetor, just set it down on the manifold. Don't bolt it down because you want to make sure everything lines up. If you do bolt it down, you can scratch it, and if it doesn't line up and you have to send it back, it just makes it a little harder to return. Everything okay? Yeah, looking good. Move this fuel line here. All right, we'll make sure our fuel line lines up here, and then our, get our vacuum booster line here in the back. That lines up. And let's make sure our throttle linkage lines up, and it does. Now we'll go ahead and install our fuel line first. Okay, now to hook up our throttle linkage, we've got a bracket that was supplied in the kit that bolts back here on the rear bolt of the carburetor. Now you'll notice it's got two little tabs on it right here with holes in it, and what you can do, is this is where you put your return springs. Make sure you use two return springs. When that sets back here, this is the throttle linkage that will go on right there. Then down here we have the transmission kickdown linkage for the automatic transmission that goes there. And the last piece of linkage will be the cruise control that goes right there. Both of these are held on by the clips from the original carburetor. With the fuel line attached, vacuum booster line attached, and the throttle linkage connected, we've tightened down the carburetor in a crisscross pattern. Now we can hook up the vacuum lines. Okay, got that hooked up over there? Oh, yeah. Well, all right, I think here. we're all set. Looks pretty good right in here, so I'm all clear. Okay, folks, what we've done now is we've replaced all of our vacuum lines, and it takes a little while to do this, but it's well worth it because it will save you some problems later on. Now, the next thing we're going to do is, is hook up our electric choke, and we've made up a wire here, and we're going to hook that right here. Okay, now, now we're going to hook the other end of the wire to a 12-volt source with the key on, and that's the important part, with the key on. I'll just take the voltmeter and go down here to the fuse panel, and I'll locate a fuse that's live when we turn the key to the run position. At this point, we'll mount the throttle solenoid. In some cases, you may be able to use the old one, or in this case, we'll use a new one with the bracket supplied in the kit. Now we can fire it up. All right, now that we got our engine running, we want to let it warm up just a little bit. And the first thing we're going to do is set our idle speed adjustment. Yeah, I've hooked up a vacuum gauge. And when a vacuum gauge, a vacuum's real important. And of course, I've got a tack to monitor the engine speed. 
Now, here's your idle speed screw right here with the engine fully warm and the choke open. We want 600 RPM for an idle. So I'll just turn this little idle speed screw here down a little bit. We get 600 RPM on the tack. There you go. Right about there? You're right there. Okay. Once the idle speed's set, then we go ahead and adjust the mixture. Right here is the idle mixing screws. And if you turn these screws in on this one, it'll make it richer. If you turn them out, it'll make it leaner. All right, now these work just the opposite of a regular carburetor. Now remember, this is a performance emission carburetor. Get a little tweak there, buddy. All right. Okay, folks, looks like we're about ready to finish this project up. Here it is for you, Sam. Thanks. Now I'm gonna put on my Dragon tack. Okay, I told you that the uh, Holly carburetor will accept the original equipment air cleaner. Don't forget to put your uh, air horn gasket on here. And of course, you use new filters. Now, don't just go get some old cheap air cleaner. Use the original equipment. There's a whole science in air cleaners. For example, you see this tape at snout here. What that does is that acts as a venturi, and it speeds up the velocity of air. When the engine's warm, the air travels fast and helps to cool the charge, gives you better drivability. Also, when the car is cold in the morning, this little flap here, this vacuum door is open, and allows hot air to pass up here, and that comes from this heat tube. So if the heat tube is missing, replace it. That gives better atomization, reduces sag and hesitation. Now, when the engine's warm and the underhood temperature's high, you have an intake snoot that comes in here, and that fresh air coming in from the outside, again, drops the temperature, reduces the combustion chamber temperature. Now, this was missing when we started out. Get yourself one of these replacement tubes if yours is gone, because by reducing the intake air temperature when the engine's warm down the carburetor throat, you reduce percolation and you stop spark knock. Okay, now we'll install our tachometer. This is the Dragon Track tack by SunPro. And this is the way it looks. This is a nice looking piece. You know, it's set up for either a four, six, or eight cylinder car. It's easy to install. It runs up to 10,000 RPM. And it's got easy wires here. All you have to do is hook up your, let's see, your red and black wire. They go to your battery and the ground. The green wire goes to your distributor tack. And the red or the white wire here goes to your dash light, so you have a lighted background here. So this is going to be pretty nice. The old tack here checked out on us a while back, so it's going to make a nice addition. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll talk about new products. So stay with us. Okay, Dave, I got the grommet out here. Anytime you're ready, just go ahead and pass me. The a rough idling car may be caused by a vacuum leak. Spray carburetor cleaner on the lines and connections. If the engine speeds up, you've found a leak. Worried about failing your emissions test? Don't be. Give your car or truck a dose of CD2 Emission Cure, advanced technology to help you pass your emissions test. Better chemistry at about half the price of other national brands, real medicine that's guaranteed to your money back, and regular use promotes clean air. Get help passing your emissions test with CD2 Emission Cure. Better chemistry at about half the price, guaranteed. CD2 Emission Cure. CD2. Available at these and other automotive retail outlets. One engine was filled with Castrol Syntec, a full synthetic oil, the rest with conventional oils. They were then drained and started without oil to prove a point. You see, Syntec has a unique molecular structure that bonds to engine parts. Lab tests show it leaves a layer of protection far stronger than conventional oil. And if Syntec protects this well now, imagine if you leave it in. Castrol Syntec protects in ways other oils can't. Try Castrol Syntec, now also available in the 10W30. Monroe developed Sensatrack shocks to smooth out the road for a comfortable ride. But Sensatrack doesn't stop there. It's the only shock that also gives you extra control when you need it most. Sensatrack shocks and struts, only by Monroe. For comfort and control. Get Sensatrack shocks. Call 1-800-STRUT now for a Monroe ride expert near you. When it comes to paint, we're making a name for ourselves. Because we make our own and guarantee its quality. That's Ace, the name to know for paint. I don't need some fancy cologne to tell me I'm a man. I use Skin Bracer, it smells great. But it also cools and tones my skin. Confidence is very sexy, don't you think? Original and cooling blue. By men and... Hey, Dave, looks like we got some rain rolling in on us. Well, we needed it. Hey, welcome back to Shade Tree Mechanic. Sam, what do you got there? That looks familiar. Nice pair of insulated pliers. These are from the Eastwood Company out of Malvern, Pennsylvania. And they're insulated because they're designed to grab the spark plug wire and pull the wire off the plug with the engine running so you won't get shocked. Now, you want to do that. If you've got a dead miss or a misfire you're trying to find, 
when you hook up to the wire and pull it off on the cylinder that's dead, well then bingo, then the engine speed won't change and you'll find it. Real handy, they're about $11, good for the toolbox. Good idea. Well, speaking of spark plugs, I've got some right here. These are champion, brand new champion spark plugs from Cooper Automotive. Now, these are designed, they call it the truck plug, they're designed for trucks and sports utilities. Now, what makes them unique is they've got a massive center electrode that's got a copper core in it. They also have a copper cord side electrode. And they've got an anesthesia compound on the threads that helps prevent galling. Okay, i got something else I want to show you, too. Okay. Now, these are brand new to the market. They have a three-year unlimited mileage guarantee. They cost about two and a half dollars a piece, so look for them in your local retailer. I picked this up for a friend of mine. You know, you get to the point of the year where you have the doors closed and you want to get the exhaust out of the garage because you know how bad carbon monoxide is. Yeah, well, this is called the exhaust away. And this is out of uh, the Eastwood Company. It's about $50. That way you can run the car in the garage and exhaust all the carbon monoxide outside. Yeah, and Sam, look at this. They've got an adapter that you can fit right in your garage door, and that way you can run your hose to it like this. That way it'll flop up. That way you can keep the garage door down, keep the heat in, and get the exhaust out. That's a nice piece. A nice deal. Hey, I've got something for you, too. All right. You know, when you're working on your car, this solves an age-old problem. That is when you disconnect lines and hoses, getting them back together. Well, this is called Identiclips. This is from CTA Manufacturing in Karlstadt, New Jersey. And what it is is you've got color-coded clips. We put a clip on one line that you take off and the other clip where you removed it. Then when you put it back together, you can match it, get everything back the way it ought to be. This is about $4, and you can get this in about any automotive retailer. Nice. Well, we hope you've learned something about doing a performance upgrade on your vehicle. And, you know, thanks to the folks at Holly, we now have carburetors that will give us an increased performance and at the same time help us maintain those emissions. That's right. Hope you learned something about how your air cleaner works. Make sure when you do one of these installations that you inspect your bottle linkages, make sure they don't bind, check your fuel lines, make sure they don't leak. Do a good job. Yeah, and remember, always read the instructions. Speaking of instructions, we've got another one out here we need to dig into. I'm going to get started. All right. We'll see you again next time on Shade Tree Mechanic. For a copy of today's Shade Tree Mechanic, call 1-800-456-0063 or write you the address on your screen. Refer to the offer number shown. The cost of the tape is $15.95 plus $3.50 shipping and handling.